Plasma Area Science. Today, I'm here to discuss four pillars of education. Education is an activity which we often discuss. And there are four pillars of education according to UNESCO, United Nations, Educational, Social, and Cultural Organization. United Nations, Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization is UNESCO. According to UNESCO, when you organize an educational system, it should be built on four pillars. What are these four pillars of education? Let's look. They are learning to know, learning to do, learning to be, learning to live together. What does this learning to know means? According to UNESCO, the teacher's duty is not to teach each and every theory in this world. Suppose if you are a physics teacher, can you teach your students all the physical, the all the theories related to physics? No. You can teach only some theories and principles included in the syllabus, but this is not enough. The students should be able to learn other theories. So here, the teacher's real duty is to make the students able to learn similar theories without uh, the assistance of any teacher, any other person. So it means that the teacher should be able to create a base in the students so that to make them able to learn thousands of theories themselves. Actually, this uh, uh, learning to know is borrowed from the principle of one of the greatest psychologists, educational psychology, psychologist, Jerome S. Bruno. His discovery learning, he introduced discovery learning. According to Bruno, actually, learners should discover and learn. That means, Though learners are learning some theories introduced by some other people, teachers should not teach such principles directly, but teachers should make them feel that they are constructing their own knowledge. They are discovering their own knowledge. So according to a Bruder, teaching is not teaching the content, but teaching is teaching how to learn. And from this concept, actually UNESCO has taken this pillar of education, learning to know. And most of the teachers nowadays are doing a spoon feeding teaching. They will teach some principles and they will give some notes. Students will by heart uh, those principles uh, which are already taught, which have already been taught, then they will write the answers they have just caught from the textbook and they will not be able to explain the items. They will not be able to learn new theories by making these theories as a base. So according to UNESCO, uh, one of the most important pillars of education is learning to know. That means by the end of a course, by the end of a particular level of education, students should be able to learn themselves. Thousands of theories and definitions by using what they have already learned. This is learning to know. Then what is learning to do? It's the ability to apply what we learn you know, classrooms. We learn language. We learn English language. Most of the people learn English language for uh, 15 or 20 years. But even after learning the English language for 20 or 15 years, 
most of us are not able to communicate well in english then what is the use of learning actually we are not able to do uh, or apply what we do well uh, maybe we are aware of the rules and regulations the grammatical rules and regulations in a particular language but if you are not able to speak in that particular language when it is needed then what is the use of language learning if we learn language for example if we learn english language we should be able to speak in english language when we happen to meet some people who only know english language learning to do we learn scientific theories but we never become scientific in our life then what is the use of science learning so according to unesco whatever you learn in the classroom you should be able to apply in your life you should be able to make use such items in your day to day life otherwise it is useless so this learning to do is the second pillar of education according to unesco what is the third one learning to be what is the this learning to be unesco tells learning to be a husband learning to be a mother learning to be a father learning to be a son actually this learning to be is learning to take responsibilities as a part of different social institutions actually unesco was forced to accept this as a pillar of education just because of the pathetic condition of the modern society studies show that most of the families are broken in the modern world children show some criminal tendencies anti social tendencies just because they are not getting enough raw and affection from their parents divorces are happening to because husband husbands having caught enough time to spend with wives wives are not getting enough time to spend with husbands so in the modern society we unfortunately we see some pathetic atmosphere children are killing their parents or their classmates their peers their friends their teachers at a sudden by standing from the seat in said classroom and shooting with ak47 guns this is what's happened till so for eradicating such a pathetic condition such a pathetic scene such a miserable atmosphere from the modern society unesco recommends that educational systems should enable people individuals to be a real wife for husband to be a real husband for wife to be a real son for parents to be a real mother for children to be a real father for children because of uh, because of this highly professional world most of the people are not getting enough time for some light moments with their relatives their families because most of us are hurry 
in getting some promotion, in getting some popularity, in earning more and more money, in widening our business. Yes, then we forget to be a son. We forget to be a mother. We forget to be a father. We forget to be a husband. We forget to be a wife. So modern education should make people able to take responsibilities as the members of different social institutions. And the fourth one, the fourth pillar of education according to UNESCO is learning to live together. Now you can see a world where you can see different types of culture, different types of lifestyles, different types of religions, different castes, different races. And now the world has become just like a single village after the phenomena called globalization. And see, even if you are from a small country, sometimes you may have to work in another country, in a vast country, in a big country. You may have to work in a country where the culture is entirely different from the culture of your country. So you should be able to adjust with people, some people who have got some different culture from your culture. You should be able to lead a harmonious life. And similarly, nowadays, racial calamities, violence, communal hatred, communal violence are there. It has become something nat natural in this modern world. So by getting education, we should be able to live together. That means we should be able to adjust with others. We should be able to live in a harmonious way with some people who belong to a different culture, who belong to a different religion, who belong to a different country, who belong to a different region, who belong to a different linguistic community. So this learning to live together is important because world has become a multicultural society. There should not be any sort of eco. There should be cultural pluralism. Majority of a society should be able to uh, give enough freedom for the minorities of that country or that society to follow their own cultural aspects, their own religious aspects, their own social aspects. So there should be a mutual understanding between different communities. We should be able to go, uh, we should be able to live together. And this is the fourth pillar of education according to UNESCO. And just look at the educational system in your society, in your country, whether and check whether these aspects are there. If these aspects are not there, according to UNESCO, the building called educational system is at danger. Thank you. Thank you very much.